Welcome! In front of me is a Motorola Moto G13 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, uh, to get started I'm just going to quickly mention, you can see that the phone I have here is locked. Uh, a couple ways of unlocking it, pattern in my case, and obviously the Google account. But assuming I don't know either of those, I'm just going to well, show you how you can completely get rid of it without verifying anything now one thing to keep in mind we will need internet connection for this so that's why i have already connected to my wi-fi i think i also have a sim card but that's irrelevant i'm gonna actually take it out yep there we go begun okay so you can see i do have only wi-fi right now uh now to get started we're gonna uh we're gonna in your case, I assume you're at the very beginning of the setup. Progress through the setup till you get to right over here. Connect to your network. And from there, you want to select Add New Network. And in SSID, you're going to type in... Uh, you're going to type in just anything. <coughs> Sorry for that. I'm going to select the text. I'm going to copy it. And this will bring up this... Op, uh, like option window right here you want to select the share option and then we're going to choose message new message uh two just type in a random string of numbers does not matter i as you've seen i don't even have a sim card in here so uh so yeah you just type in anything it's not like we're this message is going to get to anybody we just need the two have something like visible that we attempted to send. Now in here we will need to type in uh, youtube.com. Now in this case it actually matters that we type in the first uh, www for some stupid reason uh, Motorola made it uh, matter so type that in then and once you have typed in the link send it as you can see, it gets sent even though I don't have a SIM card and even though this number does not exist, uh, we have a little message. Now it never will be delivered, it does not matter. So here you wanna select top to load preview, then top on the YouTube link or link the image of YouTube. I'm gonna select allow, doesn't really matter here. And now we're gonna tap on account icon, settings, about, Google privacy policy. Accept and continue, and no thanks. And as you can see, we have now our web browser open. From the web browser, we're gonna navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. There we go. From here, you want to scroll down. And we're going to find uh, the last option, which is uh, the screen lock set many. Click on it. Now, as you recall, uh, the method of unlocking that I had was a pattern. I didn't mention it. I should have probably. I don't know if it really matters, to be completely honest. In the guide, it says that we need to select a pattern, which would basically be the same uh, unlocking method as I have right now. Uh, I don't know if that has any kind of uh, like meaning, so I will try pen. I'm saying this because this might not work. I know with a pattern, it does. With a pen, I haven't tried it, so I'm gonna check it out. Uh, I want to, I'm doing this just so I can select something else than what I already have. So, because I have a, a pattern already set in here as a verification method, I want to select something else. Uh, something else that uh, you can see that it, like I didn't verify it. So, what we're going to be doing right now is selecting a pin pattern. In my case, it's a pin. I recommend choosing a pattern just because I know it works. And we're going to keep on repeating it till the device actually sets it up. 
Now I'm going to be using one, two, three, four every single time. The reason I'm saying every single time because I'm going to be doing that plenty of times probably. As you can see, it didn't set it up. Uh, it just gave me a white screen, crashed, and all I need to do is just get back to it. Nothing, so repeat. There we go. So as you can see, we went to a new page. I'm gonna select skip right here. I think skip, unless I just messed it up. Guess yes, I'm in. Oh, okay, so I think it already worked. So as you've seen, uh, it told me to verify uh, when I went to the next page and it told me to use a pen instead of a pattern. So it did work. So right now, I'm just gonna back out. There we go. And we can now progress through the setup. And what you will see that happened is when we get to the verification portion of the, uh, of the setup, it will now tell us to verify this using pen. There we go. And as you recall before, it was a pattern. If you don't believe me, you can go check out at the very beginning. I did start from the lax, uh, from the verification page. So you can check it out, but it did change. So now we just need to put in our pin that we have selected. One, two, three, four, confirm. And we can now finish up the setup. Again, we enter pin, so one, two, three, four. And now that we have access to home screen, you want to do one last thing, which is navigate into your settings. Scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, confirm it with a pin or whatever you have. And then again, select erase all data once more. So just to finish this off, because we're basically done. Uh, this is the last thing that you wanted to do, uh, erase all data. It will perform a factory reset of your device, at which point once it's finished, you're back in the setup screen. And from there, you can set up your phone however you want. It will be fully unlocked. And it's one of those last things that you want to do uh, just to ensure that the device is fully unlocked. And just to also mention one more thing that I did in the middle of it, uh, I selected a pin and it worked. So it in the guide, it said pattern, but it looks like that has basically zero, uh, zero effect, which one you choose. So you can select password, pin, pattern, whatever you want. Uh, you just need to keep on repeating it till it actually sets up. As you've seen for me, it took several attempts to set, set it up. It was maybe like 10 to 20 that I tried where I was just constantly repeating it. Every time it, or once that it crashed and I got the white screen, I went back and then retrace the steps uh, from I guess where I was dropped off so for me it was a web browser and I just selected again to set up a uh, screen lock chose again the same one which was pin for me and repeated the same one till the device accepted it and set it up and from there once you go back you can just use that new pin and you're good to go now, like I mentioned just do this one last step to reset your device to finish this off 
But with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.